Hi, I'm Monroe Anderson. Since the civil rights days, a strained relationship has existed between blacks and Jews. Recently, the rift widened as a result of bigoted remarks made by Khalid Muhammad, one of Minister Louis Farrakhan's top lieutenants. Here are just a few things that Muhammad had to say. The hook-nosed, bagel-eating, locks-eating, imposter perpetrating a fraud, Johnny come lately, just crawled out of the caves and hills of Europe, wanna be you. That was some strong stuff. An unrelenting public outcry forced Minister Farrakhan to demote Muhammad. But that action has not stopped accusations that the Muslim minister is an anti-Semite. Joining us today is Dr. Lenore Salani chairperson for the New Alliance Party. Dr. Falani, do you think that what uh, Mohammed said was bigoted, and do you believe that Farrakhan should have unequivocally repudiated those remarks? I'm fine with what Minister Farrakhan did and how he responded. Uh, Minister Farrakhan is not an anti-Semite. In fact, he's one of the most popular black leaders in the country. And it's my opinion that if he had slit Khalid's throat on national TV, there are people in the establishment leadership in both the black and Jewish community who would not have been satisfied because they are interested and profit off the continued divisions and hostility that exists between the two communities. Hmm. Okay. Our next guest is Jonathan Levine, director of the American Jewish Committee. Okay, first there was Jesse Jackson. Now there's Louis Farrakhan. Are black leaders anti-Semites, or is there a Jewish plot to discredit black leadership? Black leaders, by and large, are not anti-Semitic. Louis Farrakhan is. And uh, Jewish leaders and the Jewish community is by no means out to discredit black leadership. Okay. Our last guest is Rabbi Capers Finney, director of the Jewish Council on Urban Affairs. Rabbi Finney, you are a black Jew. Do you find yourself conflicted by all this? I don't really find myself in conflict with the problems that uh, uh, exist between the elements of the African American community and elements of the Jewish community. I think that, uh, un unfortunately, uh, certain groups within the Jewish community and Minister Farrakhan happen to be wagging uh, the relationships between the African-American community and the Jewish community. I think that there are hundreds of examples uh, where Jews and African-Americans work in concert. Uh, I happen to work for the Jewish Council on Urban Affairs, an organization that uh, for 30 years has been at the forefront uh, of working and bringing the prophetic uh, Jewish tradition of seeking justice, and seeking righteousness for all people so that uh, our organization certainly uh, works with leadership in every element of the African-American community. Okay, as a Jewish person, do you believe that Louis Farrakhan is anti-Semitic? I believe that Minister Farrakhan says things that are anti-Semitic at times. I have had occasion to speak with him on several occasions, and he has said to me, that he is not an anti-Semite. Uh, he has said to me that he is not anti-white. He has said to me that he would like to address and to sit down and to talk with uh, leaders in the Jewish community. Uh, in that regard, in that respect, members of our board of directors at the Jewish Council on Urban Affairs, Rabbi Herman Shulman and Rabbi Robert Marks, have in fact sat with Minister Farrakhan at dinner at his home. And they have had uh, Minister Farrakhan to their home uh, for dinner in trying to break through and to say that there are uh, people in the Jewish community that are willing to dialogue with uh, Minister Farrakhan as the head of the Nation of Islam. Okay, yeah, I've been